Thank you very much either. Uh, uh, hello, Mr. Kitmeyer. Oh, Miss Clayton, I, uh, uh, I want to... Grandpa, do you mind? Do I mind what? It? I'm going down to the barn where it don't smell. Yes. Do you think that we'd better... Uh... Well, how about it? Well, it's, it's a great idea, but do you think that I'm doing the right thing. Is Duke Bradley doing the right thing to you? No, but are you sure that your horse will win if that Dixie Gordon rides him? I'll bet my farm on it. Yes, and will Mr. Madison make a large bet with that Bradley? Big enough to break him. Yes, well, that's all I want to know. Here it is. She tells me she doesn't care for him, but I can't believe a word she says since she's been running around with horses. Uh, you have I... to sign this over to me, Mr. Kipmeyer. Oh, yes. But suppose that Bradley finds out and won't take the bet. He can't find out unless you tell him. And don't tell the jockey until tomorrow. Now, yes. sign right here. Yes, well, all right. Say, I've, been... I've been trying to place this guy. Do you know who he is? His wife owns oh. Dubonnet. Oh, go along, Grandpa. He's up to something. Look at him. He's as guilty as a horse thief. Here, now, look here, Mr. Clayton. You can't... I, I, you desist. First of all, he calls me a caretaker, and then he tells me to desist. Well, Get off this place. Now, look here, Grandpa. Don't you call me Grandpa. Will you leave us alone one minute? All right, but I don't trust that guy. House full of monkeys and no stud. Yes, I don't... Now like hurry it before we're interfered with again. Yes. I hope this puts that Bradley where he belongs. So do I. Yes, and I hope that nobody will know I've been here. Goodbye. Goodbye.